Hey, your viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Stratist, and welcome back to So You Being Hunted. This is episode 467. Now, so, last episode, we did the boat generation experiments. Now, we're actually going to come back and give our pirate defence challenge another try. Because, you Lord knows, I'm not going to let myself be beaten by my own uh, silliness, by my own cockiness and whatever else have you. So, uh, I've amended the challenge ever so slightly, as you can see from my starting inventory. I am not uh, just starting as an aristocrat. Uh, at the risk of sounding like I'm cheating a little bit, I'm going to start as the officer class, just to give me some weapons straight off the bat, because Lord knows I need them. Now, in terms of uh, the rules of the challenge, it's going to be the same as my initial attempt. We're going to have an hour. The timer has not yet started, incidentally. So we're going to have an hour to do a challenge where basically I have to gather armaments, supplies, things like that, and then I have to find myself a pirate ship, a.k.a. A boat um, in one of the fence biomes and basically make that my pirate ship and I have to defend it against any robots who get too close. And um, there's a point system, so hunters one point, hounds two, squires three, poachers four, scarecrows five and riders ten. Ten for the riders because of course they are quite tough. So that's our scoring system, we'll be trying to keep track of that as we go along. Obviously because it is an hour what I'm going to do is record the whole thing in one go and then I'll just split the footage probably into multiple episodes with no sort of distinct outros as I sometimes do with you know challenges like that. So um, I've also adjusted the uh, robot spawn rate setting so that only hunters will be spawning for the first 20 minutes but after the first 20 minutes of uh, being in game like this Every other robot is then basically maxed out, including the hunters, that is. So, uh, we've got 20 minutes, basically, or there or thereabouts, to find ourselves a boat, to actually go island to island, to go from village to village, find all the, you know, all our stuff, and then we have to basically be in position before that 20 minute mark hits. Uh, obviously, I can't really do too long with this outro, because uh, that 20 minutes is obviously ticking away right now. So let's start our timer. One hour commences right now. The challenge is going, ladies and gentlemen. Let us get our weapons out. I don't even have my rifle set to slot three. What the heck? All right, well, let's just get this out for the time being. So yeah, like I say, I've, I've amended the, uh, the rules slightly, because um, first time round, it was a bit of a challenge, and to be honest, actually, part of that was my fault, because I cleared some of the device pieces out of the way when I shouldn't really have done that. Because, of course, the way Sir You Being Hunted's robot spawn system works is, obviously, it um, counts down time, and new robots will spawn every time it hits a certain threshold. So every, like, 20 minutes, every 40 minutes, or whatever it is. But um, it also advances things if you pick up and return device pieces, and I should have remembered that, but that was just my bad. Oh, hide me, talisman, I'll definitely tell you that. Uh, have some of that as well. Uh, is it worth us taking maybe... Yeah, just take an extra empty bottle in case we need stealth, dis uh, stealth distraction equipment. That'll be fine. So my plan is uh, maybe to... Oh, look at this. Look at this bad boy here. Yes, we'll take that. And some shotgun ammo, which we will also get our hands on. We'll also get our hands on the stout as well, because that's always good to have. Um... Right, what I might as well actually do is discard that old rifle, because there's no point having that, uh, clogging up that inventory there, and making me, in case I come back here and I think um, by mistake that um, there's a weapon in there when actually there isn't. So yeah, um, part of my mistake in the initial attempt at this challenge was actually removing some of the device pieces, because it sped things up, and thus loads of robots started spawning. And of course, one of my other mistakes was customising the biomes in a way where I think it didn't really give me uh, what I was actually looking for, i.e. actual boats. So, in terms of the uh, biome generation settings uh, for this map, I've just basically set all the outlying islands to fence biomes, I haven't customised them. This one is just a rural, haven't customised it either, though maybe now that I think about it, perhaps I should have, I don't know. But uh, we'll see. We'll just we'll just make it, you know, as it is at the moment. We'll just go with box standard biomes. We won't do anything too um, too silly. All right, there we go. We've got that um, that the old thingy there. We'll take some alarm clocks as well because they're always useful. And if we can get our hands on uh, some bandages, that'd be great too. A um, couple of bottles of stout should do fine because obviously we can drink those for vittles. Oh, I'll actually I'll take I'll take all the stout in the world. Why the hell not? <laughs> right. And obviously as we kill uh, some hunters, we'll probably get our hands on a shotgun at some point as well. More revolver ammo is always appreciated, thank you very much. Um, oh, Jesus. Sorry, I was just tapping my phone then to make sure that the uh, 
timer didn't, uh, well, to make sure the screen didn't lock up. Okay, there we go. Three sets of bandages should be good for the time being. And obviously, we will need to, like say, to transfer to another island at some point. I have to sort of keep my eye on time. Um, and once I think we're getting towards around about the 20-minute mark, we'll have to make our way to a fence biome, or just before, to actually start looking uh, for a boat that we can actually uh, make our pirate ship and then defend that. Uh, is there going to be anything in this here? No, of course there isn't. There's rarely anything in the bins, old boy. Mm. Mm. And apologies if you hear me gulping down tea as usual in the background. Um, but that's pretty standard for a general red video, isn't it? Oh look, there's dudes up in the village ahead. As was the case with the um, initial attempt at the challenge, I only get points for killing robots whilst I'm stood on my boat. So if I kill these, for example, it wouldn't count. They would just be uh, guys I've killed. Unless I can kill them now, just to um, maybe, I don't know, see if I can get some stuff off them. Oh, no you don't. Stop it. Right, hold on. Right, get you. Right, he's down. And you. And you. Got you. There we go. Oh, but of course your shotgun friggin' broke. Of course it did. Just wanted to kill them off. Yeah, you got a bit more shotgun ammo, which I will take. We will probably get a shotgun, like say, at some point. Um, just a matter of finding out when. It's just a matter of eventually killing a hunter and then just getting the weapon that we need, essentially. That's what I'm trying to say, anyway. Uh, right. Ah, oh, yes, this is why I need a torch, because it's so friggin' dark. Okay, switch that on for a bit even though we don't actually need to, because we're in a well-lit village. Alright, check this warple and tat over here, there's nothing in there. Okay, we've got a fair bit of ammo so far, so we should be... Oh, look at that, another revolver. Lovely. Okay, we've got plenty of revolver ammo for the time being, which is actually pretty good. So probably not going to need too much more, really, are we? In which case, we can probably move off to another island, and actually, um, actually maybe start looking for some boats. So, like I say, I've set all the outer islands to fence biomes, so that should, that should be fine. Um, we should be good there. So, at least one of these islands will have boats on it. In fact, probably all of them will have boats on them. Because I do wonder, if you set an island to a fence biome, is there... Does, does it have, like, a predetermined number of boats that it spawns? Maybe it spawns at least one of each? That's what I'm thinking, anyway. All right. Let's uh, head across to the south. There we go, sip of tea whilst I'm at it. Alright, we're in. Okay, so now we've just got to find ourselves a boat, got to get ourselves positioned, and then we can wait, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know, whilst we're on the uh, subject of um, <laughs> a pirate defence challenge, got me sort of thinking, actually, a little bit about uh, pirate movies and all that. Um, that is, movies that are set, well, the movies that are about pirates. Not, not pirated movies, ladies and gentlemen, that's not what I'm trying to say. Ah, oh, and there's a boat right over there that we can be using. Of course, it's been a long time since I watched the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Those pirate movies. In fact, I'm trying to think, um, how many Pirates of the Caribbean movies have there actually been? I know, obviously, there was the original, then there was um, the second one, with Davy Jones in it, and then there was Stranger Tides, or whatever it was called, the third one. Then there was a, there was a fourth one, wasn't there? with Penelope Cruz, was she in it? And, um... Obviously, there was an actor in there who's playing, well, a kind of fictitious version of Blackbeard. But, um, yeah, I, I don't... Mm, I don't I don't know. There might well have been more Pirates of the Caribbean movies since then, but if there are, I'm not entirely aware of them. Alright, um... What we're going to do is we're going to hop up onto this boat. We're going to see if we can lure those guys back over just to, uh... Start getting ourselves some little uh, pointage. It's not even a word, what am I saying? Right, come back over here, guys, that's it. Oh, I maybe could have actually just lit the campfire then, but... Right, hold on. Alright, beamy shit, ladies and gentlemen. Right, you're out. Why don't you come close so I can hit you? Oh, what a bad shot, eh? Hey? You're not going to hit me with that kind of musket fire now, are you? Alright, that's actually two points to begin with. There we go. So let me just note those down on my sheet of paper. All right, we're off to a good start. We haven't even hit the 20-minute uh, mark yet. We're actually doing uh, all, already quite well. Uh, no shotgun ammo. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? All right, allow me to just um, take up position on my grand vessel once more. What was it called again, this boat? It was the Mocky or something, wasn't it? 
the Mocky, or just Mocky. Horror, the Grand Vessel, Mocky. <laughs> here we are, here we go. Getting myself up towards the wheelhouse and all that. But yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean movies, um, it's been quite a number of years since I actually watched any of them, and I haven't seen all of them. I've only seen, I think, the first three. Um, thing is, I think the first one was probably the best. The second one was good. Um, third one, I didn't really rate the third one, from what I can remember of it. I just didn't think it was that great. I don't know. I think the third one was very OTT. A lot of crazy stuff happening in it with bloody sort of weird afterlife worlds and strange realms and goddesses of the sea and all this. Maybe just got a bit too crazy for my tastes. But uh, yeah, the first one was good though, with uh, Jeffrey Rush playing Captain Barbosa. Because he did do, uh, he did, he did play quite a good part in that one. I have to say. Uh, right, let's uh, have some of our stout. There we go. Oh, there's another boat over here. Another big grand ship, as you can see. See, look. I wonder is with the fens biome. Is it the case that it generates at least one instance of both of these, both of these boats, and that's kind of maybe all it sort of generates? Because I don't recall. Well. Having said that, actually, I don't know. So I feel like I may have seen maps before that I've generated where it's had at least two instances of the Mocky boat, but no more, than, never more than one instance of the large kind of like tugboat like this one. Maybe I have no idea. I can't even remember. But uh, yes, well, you can't even climb on that. So there's no point really me in me exploring it. So let's just uh, get back to our grand vessel. In fact, let's uh, pillage this village first. P pillage the village. <laughs> That's what we'll say. Uh, we'll ignore the church. It's probably not really going to be too much in there. Now, the balloon hopefully isn't going to be too much of a problem. Um, it shouldn't be, anyway. Alright, let's keep moving. Keep checking this area. Uh, there's another pie, which I will take. Got about three canned pies now. Uh, pickle legs. Sure, we'll take them for the time being. I've got so much vitality. Well, so much food. I don't think I actually need this much food. What am I doing with it all? I have no idea. Alright, back to our boat. Back to the Grand Vessel. But yeah, so speaking of obviously like pirate movies, um, I'm trying to think, apart from the Pirates of the Caribbean films, what other movies have I seen where pirates are like a big thing? Probably not many. But then again, that's probably also because I'm just not a big movie kind of person. There's a lot of films and movies out there which I have never actually watched, in all honesty. Um, but, you know, maybe people out there have good recommendations and things like that. But, you know, speaking of movies, actually, um, as I went to record this, it is Sunday the... Not Sunday, sorry. Uh, Saturday the 26th uh, of March. Yeah, 26th of March, that's right. Yes, we're dating the video straight away, ladies and gentlemen. And um, I, I wasn't actually planning to record this uh, So You're Being Haunted challenge today, because originally um, me and Phil were going to have a recording session, but unfortunately Phil... Um, wasn't able to make it, just to, you know, for other reasons, basically. Um, so, in, in essence, I basically decided, well, you know what, that's kind of opened up my afternoon, so I'm just going to, um, you know, maybe uh, do this challenge. It'll give me a fair number of, uh, well, a fair bit of surf footage to actually work with uh, over the coming days. So I decided uh, to do this one. But um, just this morning, actually, I was, um, I decided to head out into town, because it's been a while uh, since I last uh, went out into the centre of town. Because um, the thing is, um, for a long time, obviously with COVID lockdowns over the past couple of years, you know, going out into town has just not been something that I've done because there were there were points where I just felt, oh, what's the point? Like, you're not going to be able to go into certain places, things like this. So I kind of um, didn't really do that. But I decided, you know, just this morning, I, I really felt like going out into town again because I hadn't been for so, so long. And... Um, what I wanted to do was actually to stop by HMV um, and actually take a look in their film section to see if I could get my hands on a couple of movies. So I've talked um, here on you know on my Surrey Being Hunted series before about um, about the old Terminator films and um, you know the original one from 1984 and then obviously T2 uh, over in um, from 1991 and um, basically I wanted to go out to HMV in town and basically um, try and actually see if I could get my hands on some DVD copies of the original Terminator and Terminator 2 
and I got into HMV and I got into their movie section and basically they had a couple of Terminator movies but not the old ones it's basically the newer ones which really kind of sucked not gonna lie because I kind of wanted to get my hands on the old ones and I was thinking why do you not have the old ones in stock those are like iconic movies how have you not got them <laughs> I just thought, oh, god dang it. So I'll probably have to look elsewhere for them, basically. Um, which is unfortunate, but what can you do, eh? Uh, I'm trying to lure these robots over, see if I can kill them too. You see, at this early stage, I think we need to do some tricksy work here. Alright. Come over here. Oh god, I may have sent that off too early. Well, if need be... Oh, wow! Did I just hit him from that range? Oh my god, I actually did! I had no idea that the revolver had quite that range on it, but... Uh, are you okay over there? I think you're stuck behind that wall. Well, that's definitely a third point, at least, since we managed to kill that one whilst we were stood on the boat. That guy is kind of in an awkward location that I can't really get at him from... I think he's stuck, because he just seems to be hanging around over there. All right. Well, we can pull him out if need be. Uh, where was his pal who I just shot? There's the sparks, there they are. They're over here. Oh, bugger. Come over here, bud. Are you okay? Are you alright there? Are you having a bit of trouble? What the heck? It's like you freaking glitched into a wall. Right, hold on. Can I pull, pull you away? I think he's actually stuck. Okay, I'm just going to have to put him out of his misery, I think. Because he just seems to be having a lot of trouble. Alright, screw you. Oh my god, you little git! Friggin' nearly annihilated me. What an asshole. There we go. But obviously that's not counted towards our points, unfortunately, so we're on three points at the moment. Right, what we need to do is actually uh, replenish a bit of vitality. So, pickle legs down the hatch there, just to uh, get some health back. Alright. Well, not bad so far. But yeah, so as I was saying, I, I wanted to try and get my hands on the original Terminator films, the original two, but I was sorely disappointed because, like I say, friggin' the HMV, they had Terminator 3 from 2003. They had Terminator Genesis, which is one of the much more recent ones, which, from what I've seen, kind of has mixed reviews. But they didn't have friggin' the original Terminator or Terminator 2, which I'm really disappointed about. Again, like I say, they're just iconic movies. And... But then again, maybe, you know, those movies are now really only available on streaming services these days. Who knows? But, you know, venturing out into town wasn't entirely fruitless. I did um, stop by some other shops as well, just to have a look around. I always like to venture into Waterstones as well, see if I can get some reading material or something. Hmm. And on this occasion I did. Um, so, I, you know, I was looking through the books, things like that, to see if maybe there was anything uh, that took my fancy. And, of course, uh, you know, being the slight anime lover that I am, I uh, stopped off into the manga section and had a look around there, and actually ended up buying a couple of manga. So one of them, um, one of the mangas I actually bought was from a um, a series that I'd not heard of. Um, hang on, what's it called? Sorry, I'm just going to stand up from my desk for a moment and see if I can see it because I've got it on my coffee table uh, over here. Um, what's it called? It's called The Detective Is Already Dead, which <laughs> is a strange title, but. Um, it's one, like I say, that I've not heard of before, and um, yeah, I don't know, it looks kind of interesting, it has an interesting premise, a guy who knows a girl who is a detective, but then she dies, and then suddenly he meets another girl who is strangely familiar, things like this, so I don't really know too much other than what's written on the blurb, but I'm sure it'll be an interesting one to read, but the other manga, actually, that I bought uh, while I was at Waterstones, and um, I was actually kind of surprised that I didn't realise that this existed, um, is Volume 1 of a manga adaptation of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. So as soon as I saw it, I thought, I have to buy that and read it, because it's probably quite interesting. I mean, it's probably, like I say, just, just a literal manga adaptation of the game, but, um, you know, at the time I saw it, I was like, oh, I didn't know Danganronpa actually had a manga adaptation. But then I thought, hang on, why wouldn't it have a manga adaptation? That's a silly reasoning on my part, because, of course, it's such a big franchise, you know? It's a big series of games, they're very, very popular. Of course there'll be a manga adaptation of them. So, I don't know what I was thinking, really, there, but... Um, yeah, so I picked up that, and, I, if, you know, from what I've seen of it, it's only a slim little manga, and it says one on it, so I'm assuming it's volume one. And it probably just covers, like, the first chapter uh, of the game. So maybe I'll have to, um, you know, take a look. Uh, maybe on Amazon, 
maybe next time I'm out at Waterstones, see if uh, there's any, you know, any uh, further actual parts of the uh, parts of the series that uh, ever ever appear in stock. Because the thing is, the artwork looks great and all that. Yeah, that guy's got a uh, dollar symbol over his head. He's also a new type of enemy that I've not faced before. So he's going to have a power up on him. I think, if I remember correctly, it should be a new type of power up. Okay, we'll have to do the uh, information thing. Uh, yeah, what are you? You're a longest soldier, apparently. Soldier is a ground based spent all his time walking. Next week, camouflage, he wears a purple outfit to hide his barracks for ends. Oh, what a joke. Have it. Got a slightly different kind of weapon to the others. Ah, yes. New type of power up, everybody. It's the shot rocket. Shut it, Right, um, basically, 